Hi everybody, welcome to the intonation challenge. Intonation seems to be this mystical creature that nobody can tame. However, there are actually just two ways to play out of tune. In a position and in between positions. In between positions means shifting and that's a whole different challenge. Right now we're focusing on playing in tune in a position. That seems to be easy enough, right? But sometimes it's just not. When we're playing out of tune, we oftentimes blame our fingers, but it's actually the fault of the arm. For example, when I play in first position D string with the first finger and my arm is too low, my other fingers are falling naturally onto the G and the C string. In order to put them on the D string, I have to do something weird with my wrist or with my fingers, which makes it really, really hard to control the distance in between fingers. If my arm is too high, then my other fingers are nowhere near the string and I also have to do something weird to put them on, or I have to excessively rotate in order to put the fingers on the correct string. This brings me to the most important aspect of the left arm, which is the so-called EWP line, elbow, wrist, and pinky. This line has to always be straight. That means no bending of the wrist. Ideally, it is also pretty much parallel to the ground and not forward or backwards. Many of us, including me, were set up with the first finger first. However, if I was set up like this, then I have exactly the problem that my fingers are nowhere near the string. So I challenge you during this first week to pay attention that the fourth finger is always super comfortable when you're playing with the EWP line that is straight. The rest of the fingers should just naturally fall into place on the string. So instead of thinking first finger first, think fourth finger first. For this first week, I would like that you practice a descending C major scale and every time you change strings, you need to make sure that your setup of your left hand and the EWP line is correct. So that also means every time you change strings, you need to move the elbow and the arm a little bit over so that it is guaranteed that your fourth finger is always comfortable. When you practice C major, put on a drone with either a C or a G. And then when a note is out of tune, don't just correct it and move on, but correct it, go back to the note before and then move on and see if your hand actually can memorize the distances between fingers. I'm going to demonstrate now the descending C major scale and also what to do if you play a note out of tune. I really practice that all my notes are in tune with a C and that if I do something wrong I'm not mad at myself but I'm going back and correcting it. So I hope you have a little bit of fun with it. Intonation is always very tedious but it's very important that we do this. Good luck! I'll see you here next week for the next steps. Bye bye!